Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to talk about the assembly design workbench and a tool called as a reuse pattern. So to start off, let me open up assembly design workbench. A um, lot of my subscribers have been asking about uh, how you can do reuse pattern tool uh, to create automatic constraints uh, with the pattern which is already being created. So to start off let me insert two parts in it so I'm going to do the uh, bottom up assembly here so I'm creating a new part under the product and uh, I'm going to create a part here Here you have, uh, I'm going to create a pocket here. So you have a pocket here. Now this particular part is going to be your uh, first part. So I'm going to use a circular pattern here. Complete crown. Reference element. Six elements. And click OK. So you have the first part being created. Now I'm going to create another part to uh, mate with this particular hole here and then I'm going to use a circular pattern to insert that particular part all around here. So let me insert new part under the same product and uh, let me start off sketching the mating part. So and use a multi pad. So this is your mating part. Now let me go to the product by double clicking on the product and I'll uh, disassemble this particular part here. And let's see how you can use the circular pattern, uh, the reuse pattern command to reuse the circular pattern which was used to create this particular part here. So I'm going to insert reuse pattern so before that, before doing the reuse pattern, you need to assemble this product according to a constraint. So in the coincidence, I'm giving the constraint. And then I'm giving the contact constraint. I'll fix the first part. OK. So there is a tutorial which explains you to use the reuse pattern but uh, in that particular tutorial you were not able to get the uh, constraints done uh, with all the parts which was made automatically. So in this particular tutorial I am going to show you how you can uh, reuse the pattern as well as the constraints. So remember that the previous tutorial which you can see in my channel is to reuse only the uh, only the uh, feature that is a, a circular pattern. So in this case you are going to reuse the uh, constraints also. So I'm going to insert reuse pattern and select the pattern from here. And uh, from here use the generated constraints and select the constraint from here the coincidence and then apply and click OK. 
so as you can see here all the parts are mated as well as their constraints were also copied from this particular parent uh, parent object so that's how you can uh, do the uh, what do you say the reuse pattern with the generated constraints in the assembly design work engine KTRV5 so I hope you uh, enjoyed my video uh, let me just show you that it's properly constrained so I'm giving it with respect to the constraint I'm trying to move it's not moving so that's properly constrained so thank you so much for watching I hope this tutorial is going to help you uh, in your assembly uh, designing process thank you so much